what's going on guys welcome to another video and so for today's app sheets uh, episode we will be diving deep in a topic and this topic is actually based on a comment by sumudu nilanka i hope i got your name correct brother and the question is basically regarding the count if so as we all know count if uh, doesn't exist uh, directly or natively exists in app sheet however there is a way of doing something similar and thank you sumudu for your question so without further ado let's check it out all right guys so as we all know there is no uh, native function of count if in app sheet so to do that let's say i have this data in hand which is the order id customer name and status so in excel or spreadsheet we can sort of do a count if somewhere here to count a certain status that we desire but in app sheet uh, the way to do it is of course uh, in the app I have this ready so let's say I want to count the number of completed status of course one way to do it is to do by grouping but if say you want to count it on a different table so I have the summary table it's just one ID I'll just I'll just share with you why I do it in this way. So, <clears throat> in summary table, I have the physical column called ID. And I added a virtual column. And I just name it count if. And the formula that I use to count the number of completed status in my app would be count select count if order count if is not the function but the name of the table so of course here is the name of my table i name it as count if and in that table i want to select the order id uh, so it's best to select the key and status is equals to completed now the way to remember this is very easy uh, for me it's always about what for so this is the what part so what is that that you are counting which is the order id and for status equals to completed so this is the what for mechanism that i always use it's easier to remember now when i click on save and if i were to create a view called summary which i already have it here then immediately you can see the three counts which is the completed status one two and three now let's say if i change this to pending it should be one let's say pending here so in summary oh i should save this first for now sorry then it should be one yes. so that is more or less the one of the ways to do count if in app sheet so i hope you enjoyed this episode and this video so do let me know what else you would like to see in the comment section down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and do like if you find this video useful so i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye